right, hello. Now I'm high power certified, yes. So this is my junior level one certification attempt on an I-195 Red Lightning. The apogee of this flight was around 524 meters and the vehicle was recovered successfully, ready for another flight. On this flight, I had an external run cam to 4K on the side of the rocket to give us some sweet, sweet footage. And to get some useful data, I used my Project Nova flight computer. Yes, the computer is actually done. The launch detects was only triggered just before Apogee for reasons I am still looking into. Most likely causes are launch threshold or just the SD card wasn't logging or vibrations messed up the SD card. If any of these are the correct issue, then they are all easily fixable. I will be looking into why there was no data logged before Apogee and then I'll try and fix this. Either way, we still got some valuable data, mainly the height data. And the gyro data looks a bit like noise, but the rocket was spinning absurdly fast. This code did not have any quaternion, so that may have been the issue with the gyro. The code was written on the way to the launch site, as I wasn't planning on flying the computer until the day before. My current project is Project Nova, which I will be releasing a teaser for in a few weeks. This rocket may or may not be for landing with some incredible landing gear. Anyway, this was a successful flight and all parts of the rocket came back in one piece, ready to fly again. And now I am high power certified for level 1 motors. I still do not have an outro, so goodbye.